welcome to the Halloween edition of Cooking with the Kid. I'm dressed up like a YouTuber. We look like everybody else. Tonight we're going to do something because it's Halloween and also 2020 and COVID. So a lot of Halloween events have been canceled, a lot of fall festivals, hours included. So tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to make candied apples. Candy apples. And so it's very simple. It comes in a kit actually. But I'm going to show you how to put it together. So right here on Cooking with a Kid, candy apples. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so for this uh, particular vlog, we're going to need several things. First of all, you need to pick up some Concord candy apple kit, which will allow you to make 10 big candy apples. It comes with the powder. It also comes with the popsicle sticks, 10 of each. And so we're going to need that. We're going to need some apples. What I'm going to use are my Granny Smith Greenwise uh, organic apples. We're going to use those. They're small candy apples, but a lot of times people uh, make the big candy apples and they wind up getting wasted. So I'm going to use the small ones. We're going to make some of those. You'll also see I have in front of you are some caramel apple kit. We're going to make those tomorrow. And that'll be in tomorrow's, uh, the, or the next vlog. We're going to need some sugar. That's the canister of sugar behind it. Some non-stick cooking spray so that the candy apples do not stick. You can also use wax paper. Um, and then we also need a, uh, a pot to cook it in. So we're also going to need some water. So those are the things that we're going to use. But you'll also notice I have a candy thermometer. Very important that you get the temperature right on these or it will not be like the candy apples you remember. So we're going to do that. I'll bring you every step of the way. It's very simple and uh, I'll show you what to do. Okay, the instructions say that you are to add two and a half cups of sugar. One cup of water and the packet that comes with the candy apple kit. Okay, you're to mix that together. You're actually, the instructions say, mix the content in water, no stirring, bring to a boil. So we'll put this on about seven or so let it come up to a boil but it says you are not to stir it two and a half cups of water I'm sorry two and a half cups of sugar one cup water and uh, and the seasoning packet you put it together and you're not to stir it as you can see without me doing any stirring or anything it has come up to boil so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the candy thermometer it has a clip on it I'm going to clip it and drop it down into the, uh, not all the way to the bottom, but just down far enough where it's into the liquid. I'm going to do that. I'm going to let the uh, temperature come up. Now the instructions say that you are to bring it to a hard crack stage, candy stage, which is 302 degrees on a thermometer. So we're going to bring that up to 302 degrees. Right now it's around 200 and probably 220 and climbing and we'll watch it and when it gets up to there we're gonna do that so now we'll take the time to clean our apples candy is coming up to temperature I'm gonna pull the stems out of the apples gonna wash them and dry them off real good that's important you want the apples room temperature and you want them dry so we're gonna wash them off real well and then we're gonna dry them so candy apples is something we've done over the years. We've enjoyed doing them with family members. And uh, we've had a good time with that over the years. We've also made some for church. So what you want to do is you want to take the popsicle stick, of course, and put it right in the middle. Once you get past that first little stage, they'll go right in. So right where you twisted out the stem... Try to make them stand up as much as possible. So I'm only doing six of these small apples because what I'm going to do is, I love one of my favorite things of the fall festival season, and that's what we celebrate, a fall festival. 
one of our favorite things about fall, or my favorite things about fall, is the candy apple candy. So what I'm going to do is, I don't always want to eat a candy apple. And they don't keep that long. By the way, that's another thing. They don't keep that long after you make them. And uh, So anyway, uh, what I like to do is, not only do I make the candy apples, but with the leftover candy, I've purchased these lollipop molds. So what I'll do is I'll put the popsicles, not popsicle, I'll put the lollipop sticks in there and pour the, the candy. Now, I will say this, you have to be very careful because this candy is very hot. Because this candy is very hot, by the time we get done with it, it'll be over 300 degrees. So you have to be very careful and uh, you have to make sure that you are not letting your children do this unattended. Even adults do it unattended uh, because it is very hot and you have to be very careful. So we are already up to almost 275 when it gets to uh, 300, 302. I'll show you what they mean by a hard crack stage. And what you basically do is pour just a little bit off of a spoon into some water in a cup and it immediately turns solid and brittle. You don't want to overcook it, you don't want to undercook it. You want to get it right there at the hard crack stage. So I'll bring you back in just a little bit. Okay, it's reached the hard crack stage and I'll show you what that is. It's actually continuing to climb so I took it off the heat. But what I have here is a little bowl. Now you can burn this now so you have to be real careful. You can burn it and it can burn you. But when I put that into some water, can you hear it? And it turns into hard crack candy. So yeah, as you can see when I drop it in the water, it solidifies, it cools, and hardens. So now what we're gonna do, see, you swirl them in the candy, you got to be very careful because this is hot. Swirl it in the candy. You got to work quickly too because it will cool off and you'll be faced with a big hard chunk of candy. So let me get you a little closer. So basically, what I do is I tilt it, use the handle, be very careful. And there you go. It'll make its own little platform whenever you, uh, the candy will go back down. And like I say, the more you spin off of it, like that, the more you spin off of it, the, uh, the thinner the uh, shell will be. So there's three. I've got three more. Like I say, I'm going to continue to do the apples first and then use the remainder of the candy to make my lollipops and it doesn't take long for it to, to cool off like I said and once it starts to cool it'll start getting thick and harder to work with so you want to keep moving Be very careful. Okay. And I'll let you see the apples. There they are. Candied apples. All right. There you have it, everybody. Homemade candy apples. Homemade candy Granny Smith apples with that little bit of tartness and the sweetness from the candy. But candy apples made at home with the Concord Candy Apple Kit. Be sure to follow all the instructions and all the safety that you can. Again, it's very hot. Um, I want to thank each one of you for watching Cooking with the Kid. This episode and all the episodes, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. 
and uh, we'll continue to turn out these videos. Hope you enjoyed that. Candy apples. We are not responsible for dental damage or cavities or burns sustained why? while trying to make these, but they are good. Hope you enjoy them. Thanks again to all of our Patreons, all of our subscribers, all of those that continue to support us. Please continue to do so, and we thank you very much. Have a great day, and happy Halloween.